about uh, this guy sitting down to play with another player I don't recognize. This will be, I assume, Luigi Falcon. Uh, no, it's not, not Arkmo. Uh, oh, have Griffith, they played Griffith. yet? Griffith and Arkmo, didn't we watch them play earlier? I don't even remember. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, Yoshi Falcon. Exciting. I'm guessing uh, Griffith. Do you, do you know who the, uh, the other player is? The Yoshi? Do you know who the Yoshi is? Either of you? Pardon? Quote. Okay, so the Yoshi player is quote. Next. And, uh, what, what is it? Quote? Quote, yeah. Quote, oh. Like, like, like the, the thing next to the apostrophe? Ah, the goblin. Okay, so we're about to see a bunch of quote. Okay, yeah, he's, he's like the one player on the pool sheet who hasn't been filled out. Yeah. Just got back from ultimate, and uh, yeah, everyone's gonna play with quote now. So yeah, that's the sort of thing that leads to D4 uh, not finishing up, you know. Mm, uh, other games? Yeah, other games. They do exist, they are in this venue. Uh, like it or not. <laughs> For better or worse. Yeah. You know, whatever whatever your opinion, uh, whatever side of the fence you fall on, the other Smash games do, in fact, objectively exist, and they are... And they draw players, some of them. And they are taking place uh, in this venue. But anyway, Griffith looking fairly good against the Ocean here so far, but... Look how big that grab was. I almost big, wonder if that was... Get a big tongue, get him right inside, you know, chase right. the Falcon. Uh, yeah, yeah, doing a little bit of external digestion before he sucks him in for the final. Before, uh, uh, what do you think Yoshi like? It's like when you're in, like when Yoshi eats you and, and you're like inside. And you're inside of him. Yeah. I, I imagine a uh, warm and safe, a highly elastic type situation. I, I, I mean, you can't imagine being Yoshi and just being in utter agony as the as the falcon goes past your esophagus. They wouldn't do it so much if that was the case. So it's got, there's got to be some real elasticity in there. I mean, it's a pretty narrow passage. You can kind of see the size of, of Yoshi's neck is actually quite small compared to the size of his head. It's really a biologically impressive feat uh, of, of evolution, I would say. And I, and I almost wonder what the evolutionary advantage even is to being able to do it. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, it apparently makes him a fairly uh, a fairly difficult fighter. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, he doesn't tend to do any sort of like digestion though. He just kind of he kind of eats he eats up the large like target and then usually you know spits him out or puts him into an egg. And puts him into an egg exactly. So it's, it's sort of a reproduction <laughs> is is attached to it. What, what what does Yoshi do once he like puts Falcon into an egg? Is that like food for later or? Or is, or is it like I, a I don't, maternal thing? I don't know how that you could do that without violating uh, conservation of energy. <laughs> if Falcon comes out and he's lost nothing, how does Yoshi gain anything? <laughs> it's it's a principle, a scientific principle, much like momentum, that is uh, indisputable and uh, is conserved energy and momentum. How do we know that the falcon that comes out of the Yoshi egg is the is, same is one? The same, the same one that, that entered? That entered. Isn't that some sort of quantum portal inside of Yoshi's throat? I mean, clearly it defies all logic, so it could really be anything. I'm not super brushed up on the Smash Brothers lore. Uh, I should like check out the wiki or something. I'm yeah, sure maybe it. even add to it if it's not in there. Well, <laughs> good point. Uh, so anyway, yeah. that was a good match. Oh, I guess <laughs> it's over. I guess it's over. <laughs> I guess they played two games. <laughs>